In this dose calc example, we're going to look at one application of milliliters per hour where the milliliters per hour formula will not work. And the example that you see here is very similar to an example I did in med dosage live session number six. I do encourage you to check that out. There were several other milliliter per hour problems in that live session. Now, before jumping into the dimensional analysis, which is what I love to teach here, very often I do get questions from students and they're asking, how do you do it when you're not teaching? Here's a perfect example. So again, I'm only showing this to you because this is how I would do it if I was not teaching it. I will show you the dimensional analysis way, much more organized. But again, if I wasn't teaching it, here's how I would do it. I know I'm trying to find milliliters per hour. What I see here is 10 micrograms per minute. I'm gonna take that 10 micrograms per minute times 60 minutes. This is telling me that the client will need 600 micrograms per hour. Well, that's 600 micrograms out of this three milligrams. Well, three milligrams is 3000 micrograms. So what I would do next is take that 600 out of 3000 micrograms in all. And in my mind, this represents 20% of this 250 milliliters per hour. So what I want to do is I want to take 20% of that 250 milliliters and my answer is going to be 50 milliliters per hour. Now I know that's crazy, but that's how I would do it if I wasn't teaching it. And this is not the only way. This is just the way that first came to mind when I read this problem and I wanted to show you how I would do it. Now, using dimensional analysis, much more organized. Our goal is milliliters per hour. So I want to start off with milliliters at the top of my first fraction. And that's exactly what I've done right here. Milliliters is at the top. And in our problem, we have 250 milliliters. And that is connected to three milligrams of that drug. We need to get rid of milligrams, but we don't see milligrams anywhere else up here in our problem. But since we do see micrograms, I'm going to tie in a conversion. One milligram is equal to 1000 micrograms. Now I did put the milligram at the top here so that we can cancel out milligrams. We've converted to micrograms now, and we did that so that we can bring in the 10 micrograms per minute. This allows us to cancel out our micrograms. Now, if we did stop here, we would have milliliters per minute, but we need milliliters per hour. So we have to get rid of minutes and we're gonna bring in a conversion. There are 60 minutes in one hour. By us putting minutes at the top, we can cancel out our minutes here. Our goal was milliliters per hour. Milliliters, only word left at the top. Hours, only word left at the bottom. We've met our goal. And when you meet your goal, you multiply all of your top numbers and you divide by all of your bottom numbers. And when you do that, you get 50 milliliters per hour. Same exact answer as what it was just a few moments ago when I walked through it that crazy way that I would do it if I wasn't teaching it. There's no debating on when you should multiply versus when you should divide as long as you follow this technique here dimensional analysis.